Hi there. So this is an example of a WordPress multi-site network. This is the main site and these are the subdomains under it. Each is a unique website, yet they all fall under the main domain. This setup is perfect for distinct separate sites while keeping them connected under one domain. So there's two types of multi-sites and basically a multi-site allows you to manage multiple sites from a single hosting plan and single dashboard. To set up a multi-site, the first step is to check whether our main website is too slow and has a score less than 90 on Google PageSpeed. Otherwise, our sites just aren't going to load properly. Most people don't even realize when the site becomes slow. So let's open Google PageSpeed, add a site URL and click Analyze. Now, if our website score is less than 90, it means our website is already too slow and we need to first fix this using a free speed plugin. All right, there's a few different ones in the market, but they're either paid or too complicated. So my team built a free speed plugin called Airlift and they've built successful plugins before so you can trust that we know our stuff. All right, in Airlift, you can just go and paste your URL and click on this button and it will start doing every optimization you need. And 95% of the times your score will be almost three times more than before. There's also a 24 seven free customer service there to help you in case you need it. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Now, the key to activating your multi-site network begins with editing the WordPress config file, which can be easily accessed through your hosting account. You can also choose to do this with an FTP client like FileZilla, where you can access the database of your site. I'm using Bluehost, so let's head over to the Bluehost site and log into the account. Now, before making any code changes, please make sure that you have a backup of your site. I'd recommend BlogVault because it's the only one that has a money back guarantee on restores. It's also made by our own team, so think of that what you will, but it is the safest option in my opinion, so I shared it with you. Now, in the dashboard, click on Advanced in the left panel. This will take us to the C panel of our site. From here, scroll down and go to File Manager. Now here on the left, find the public HTML folder and click on it. Here you can see the wp-config.php file. Right click on it and select edit. Now in this file, scroll down and look for a line like this. And just above it, add this line of code, which don't worry, you can copy paste from the description. Save your changes and you're set. Next, we have to install our network. So on our WordPress dashboard, go to the tools section and click on network setup. Now we have to configure our network here. And the first decision is about your URL structure. So you can choose between using subdomains or subdirectories like I explained before. So let's select subdomains and then fill in the network title like this and network admin email. Once you hit install, WordPress will provide two snippets of code. These are essential for the next steps as they need to be added to your wp-config.php file and your htaccess file. So copy the first code snippet and let's go back to the file manager open the wp-config file and paste the code snippet right above this line and save our changes. Let's go back to the file manager, go to the public HTML folder and search for the htaccess file. Now back to our WordPress dashboard, copy this code snippet, come here and replace the existing codes with this new snippet. Save the changes. Now our multi-site network is fully set up and operational so let me open a few tabs and I can see that my multi-site network is running. Now let's see how we can manage all of these sites in our dashboard. So let's go to sites, click on all sites, click on add new. And this is where we'll enter the details of our new subsite. So we can fill in the desired URL and this part will be a subdomain on your main domain. Then enter the site title, the admin email. Once you've entered all the details, click on add site. And just like that, your subsite is now part of your entire network. It's important to note that when your website becomes a multi-site network, any users with WordPress admin roles are automatically elevated to super admin. This role grants complete control over every site on the network, which is a crucial feature for effective management. Now let's talk about installing plugins and themes across your multi-site network. The process is quite simple, just like it would be on a single website. So from your master dashboard, go to plugins, then add new, and here you can search for a plugin and click on install and activate the plugin. Now this will install the plugin across all the sites on your network. Similarly, we can go to appearance and themes then search for a theme and once installed, 
these plugins and themes are available across all of your multi-sites. We have the flexibility to activate or deactivate them at a network level, ensuring consistency and control over your entire network. Now, let's open our site in a new tab. And then let's open the subsite we created. And now we can see the two sites are in the same domain and your multi-site network is ready to go. In this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin that triples your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this one. So click here and I'll see you there.